On February 27th, 1996, Nintendo published the first of its biggest franchise, Pokemon. And while Japan has Pokemon, well, we got Power World. It's like Pokemon, but with slavery and guns. The true American dream. A lot of people love Pokemon, but which one do you think Uncle Sam is gonna play? Let's be honest. Now, I personally, I'm a big fan of guns. I will sub if you kill the dog. On the other hand, I wouldn't consider myself a big fan of forced labor. That's pretty, that's a pretty bad thing. Actually, honestly, who am I kidding? You don't want to know what I've been doing to villagers in Minecraft. Fall in love with captive, captor, captor. Stockholm Syndrome. They'll all have Stockholm Syndrome. They'll love me. They'll treat me like a god. Now, most of my life, I have been a huge Pokemon fan. I've played many Pokemon games. I own a Pokemon Nintendo Switch. I have many Pokemon plushies. I, I, I have like 30 more, I swear. I just don't know where they are. And I understand Power World has been a controversial topic for many. Many Pokemon fans have been saying that this game has notoriously ripped off many Pokemon designs. And frankly, I don't see any correlation at all. Okay, I mean, come on guys. This could... <laughs> <laughs> this, compa this comparison is ridiculous, I swear. They're, they're the exact same thing. Um, it it's actually just the same fucking thing. And I get that a lot of people have said it has ripped off Pokemon. Um, it has. But we can't just ignore the fact that it has also blatantly copied the Arc Survival Evolved Engram system and then just everything from Breath of the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> it's the exact same sound effect. But on the other hand, a lot of people apparently love it because it has reached 19 million active players and this game has made a lot of money. I think it's safe to say whether you love Pal World or you hate it, uh, this game is wildly successful and many people have been very upset that Pal World is successful. Uh, another fun fact, this is not the first game the creators of Pal World have ripped off. They created a game in 2020, which is just an exact copy of Breath of the Wild. And when I say that, like, I mentioned that this game has a lot of Breath of the Wild aspects just ripped into it. Um, Croptopia is just entirely Breath of the Wild, but with farming My simulator. My Don't leave me here! My dog! And Fortnite. Power World is like a step up from that. Um, it's exactly like Croptopia, but instead of farming animals like zoo animals there's pokemon and it's way more successful croptopia not many people even know about and like the developers of power world they're not this isn't like this isn't like just a rare thing where they'll copy a game no their next game is just hollow knight like this is their next game that they're working on it is just hollow knight what are we gonna fight the sun And I'm a big advocate against plagiarism. I don't like it when a lot of people do the same thing. But this game is fun as fuck. I actually enjoy this game. Is it the most blatant copying of things? Yes. But it is genuinely so much fun. Ark and Pokemon are two of my favorite games. Um, but when Ark Ascended came out and I couldn't fucking run it on my PC, I was very upset. And let's face it, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet was a laggy buggy mess when it released this game is in beta and it actually runs really well this game manages to take the best aspect from both games uh except the dinosaurs i mean this kind of still dinosaurs and it just combines them and frankly i can honestly see why power world is successful even like the pokemon like claiming mechanics is just this combination between arc and pokemon but instead of tranquilizing dinosaurs and feeding them, or, I don't know, beating the fuck out of a Pokemon and then throwing a Pokeball at it, um, uh, you're beating the fuck out of the Pokemon, but 
using weaponry to knock it down and get its health low and then throwing a pokeball at it. It is fun and despite the fact that it blatantly copies everything, it actually feels kind of refreshing. The game looks good, like it's just a visually good looking game. The animations, they're a little choppy sometimes, but hey, it runs better than our Survival Ascender. It's a pretty fleshed out game for something that's in early access, and honestly, um, we don't see that in a lot of video games these days, even when games are fully released. Generally, the only problem that I've ever had in this game with like lag is that sometimes I would get this like really horrible rubber banding when I'm playing with some of my friends. Um, but honestly, it's not that bad. It's pretty far and few between. Like it would happen after like 20 minutes and it would only last like 30 seconds. And I don't think that's a problem with the game. I think that's just a problem with my friend David's Wi-Fi. Fuck you, David. The thing is with this, it's just like, David, oh, I'm yeah, teleporting, you thing. asshole! No! My other problem that I have with this game, um, it frankly, it really doesn't have to do anything with the game, but I, I have to talk about this in this video, okay? This is very important. All right, grab a snack or a drink, but don't click off, don't click off. Just listen. Someone needs to raise awareness about this problem, okay? Basically, I got this game on Xbox Game Pass. I didn't directly spend money on this game. I have Game Pass. I am a Game Pass payer. I pay Microsoft my money. But I need to talk about this in this video because I am so tired of Microsoft's shit. When I first tried downloading the game, I kept getting this error code when I would open the launcher. Whenever I tried to play the game, it would give me this error code. I tried like 20 different fixes, so I called Xbox support, and you know what they do? They get into my computer, the support person gets into my computer, clicked the repair app button, it didn't work, so they gave up. The support person gave up. Eventually. I called another support person, and that person put me on hold so I could talk to a different department. Then, all that person did was restart my computer over and over again. I was on hold for two hours so this person could just restart my computer over and over again. And somehow it just magically worked. Then, two days later, I had to call support again! Uh, now my personal favorite pal is Mr. Penguin. Mr. Penguin is very small, but he is very strong. He can actually shoot ice and freeze things. Now Mr. Penguin, he knows what he's doing. He's a cold-hearted killer. If I were you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cross Mr. Penguin. Um, another thing I hate is how many of these cultists are in the game. Like, it genuinely just kind of gets me- I- I'm gonna start tweaking, there's so many of them and it's really annoying. They need to, like, fix this. The spawn rates are all, uh, goofed up. And sometimes, the cultists will get into fights with, like, other creatures. Like, there are these bees, and sometimes they'll just fucking start duking it out. And, like, the reason why I mention these bees specifically, because they just- they'll just start flying around them, and then they'll bomb themselves. They'll blow themselves up because they're evil. Actually, unlike Pokemon, uh, you can catch humans. For some reason, I don't, I don't think they're useful in the slightest, but you can own forced servants. And I think maybe you can make them work. You know what? I'll hop on and see if I can. Uh, another thing I do want to praise is that the bosses are fun as fuck. Like, I actually love fighting the bosses in this game. Some are really easy, uh, but some are just crazy hard for no reason. And in the end, you do have the option to catch the boss, which is cool, Leo. Uh, Ark doesn't allow that. Anyways, uh, would I recommend this game? Uh, I, I don't fucking know. Like, get it if you want, I guess. I'm a YouTuber, not a psychic. I like the game. A lot of people like the game. I mean, I think that stealing the Pokemon designs was kind of cringe, but 
A lot of people don't. A lot of people like it. It's a video game. Who cares? Try it yourself. Who the fuck do you think I am?